Hi, and my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am, or thought I am, was, or believe I am, a human being who has found himself the subject of a great deal of unwarranted and wanted, unwanted attention, and much of it negative. I have been tortured. I have been electrocuted, I have been poisoned, I have been drugged, I have been infected with parasites, I have been eaten half alive. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, I have tried not to make this simply a venue for my moaning and complaining about how crappy my life is. And I have tried to share what little I've learned with others. And I've tried to not be silent about what I believed to be happening. It's obvious, looking into my own eyes, the pain and suffering that I'm going through, which is just that. Um, things just keep getting worse. We have to move. The lady is being threatened by the landlord to not renew her lease because Petra makes so much noise and fighting and crazy and screaming and cleaning and we're fighting all the time and, you know, honestly, a lot of the places around here, the projects, the other apartments I've seen, places where people, you know, the things that we do if we had our own apartment really wouldn't bother anybody. However, we're in a situation where it bothers everyone. And it's gotten to a point where they really are just so sick and tired of us. And, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to, I have not the money to just pick up and find another room, you know, it's not that easy. Everything is changing, the price is going up, 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 so, you know, I have a medical thing I have to go to every single day, I have no income, I have to walk there, so I have to be within walking distance, I mean, just it, all these requirements, it's insane. And this place that I live in, this freaking city, it's like you can't be here unless you have a purpose and a place to go and a place to be and it's like you know you just sit down on the sidewalk because there's no chairs or benches or anything and everybody looks at you like you're at me like I'm I don't know what whatever you know physical pain mental pain social pain spiritual pain and I got all these idiots telling me, oh, you must be a drug addict. Oh, you must be schizophrenic. Oh, you must be stupid. Oh, you, I mean, whatever. You know, I've learned that the things that people say reflect their consciousness, their understanding, and their perception more than it does you. That's all there is to it. But all of these, you know, Things aside, some even weirder stuff is going on. I don't know, uh, I imagine that many of you by now have heard of what they're calling the Mandela Effect. Uh, people are blaming, blaming it on CERN and their Super Haldron Collider. Others are blaming it on the Q-Wave 2 and other quantum computers, which, uh, and I will paraphrase a quote from the inventor or you know head guy at Q-Wave that using quantum computers we are able to access an infinite number of parallel universes reaching into them and extracting resources which we can bring back into our universe to utilize excuse my diction uh, it's some interesting stuff and basically it appears that, uh, that the multiverse is real, or at least it is now, 
and that our forays into it are affecting this reality. Now, of course, that could all just be a cover story. I don't know. But when you continue to look into these changes and alterations in the fabric of our time space, what we consider reality, our perceived maps of this existence, people are finding that the verses, the language in their Bibles are changing. Now, I'm not just speaking about the language of some Bible online or some new version or some new, uh, you know, translation. No. These are people's Bibles that they've had in their life forever. Some people pull them out of the drawer and look. Some people carry them with them every day and look. It's changing. There are multiple websites or, or you know, groups put up now to list all the changes in Scripture. And it's looking to me like a lot of it is basically antichrist preparation, changing the word of God to allow for whatever's going to come next. And I don't think it's going to be fun, and I don't think it's going to be pretty. But I don't know what I can do about it other than change my consciousness change my awareness, change my perception, change my belief structure. Beliefs you can change like a pair of pants. But there are some things you can't change. Core issues, core essence. I don't know, perhaps it's all malleable. It doesn't matter. Basically, I'm busy trying to mold a mindset or worldview in which one that matches close enough to reality in which I can be valued, validated, essential, useful, loved, lovable, loving, concerned, effective, on and on and on. And, uh, oh, the other thing, I don't know if this is a hoax or not, but the Illuminati seems to have come forward with an official website and official jewelry and t-shirts and books and ideology, and they're claiming that they've been stewards of mankind since whatever, and be not afraid of all this stuff because we're watching over you really doesn't make me feel very better, much better, very good. I don't know, you know, it, it's difficult enough facing this torment, facing this torture, facing illness, facing aging, facing mental problems, Facing the results of torture, post-traumatic stress, anxiety disorder. Facing the fact that I'm plugged into some AI supercomputer that has filled my body with microtubules and other self-replicating nano life forms and other technologies to influence and control my being. It all sounds like fantasy. It all sounds like fiction. It all sounds like the rantings of a lunacy, uh, but it's not. Unfortunately, currently, this appears to be the reality I'm facing. And I'm beginning to wonder if I haven't found myself in some alternate version of a timeline, some alternate reality, some one of many multiple universes that are exactly the same, only slightly different because different choices were made or different things were in effect or I don't know. So, you know, here I am in this world completely covered in chemtrails and geoengineering clouds, watching myself morph into Lord knows what, trying to keep things under reasonable control so that, you know, because I've had people do bad stuff to me all my life. I've had them crush me with the system, 
put me through hospitalizations and medications and prisons and, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on. So why am I here? What is this all for? Why am I putting up with any of it? Why am I caught between multiple realities and having to live in all of them the best I can? Why, 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 why? It doesn't really matter anymore. It's just more like how are you going to deal with it and what comes next? You know, if this garage door behind me turns to Swiss cheese and the sidewalk rolls up into cotton candy, I'm just going to go on with my life as best I can. It's the only choice I have. Really. So all of this insanity is what it is, whether we have control over it or not. And I'm doing the best I can to maintain under extraordinary circumstances. And people constantly telling me that I'm this, that, and the other thing, that I don't care, that I don't do anything, I sleep all day, and la da 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 da. Yeah, you'd probably do that too if you've been through what I've been through. You know? But whatever. Nobody cares. You know? This world is. is people don't really care. The only people who care are people that it resonates with people who have similar experiences or similar problems, people who know people and have experienced, you know, most people, I don't know. And this is not just some esoteric thing that I've come up with to, you know. It's very real. People don't want to believe it. People do not want to be awakened, awoken from their trance and shown what's really going on because then they got to deal with it. You know, I have plenty of ideas, I have plenty of concepts, I have plenty of, you know, and the thing, the place that I'm at now is like, I'm asking God, look, Father, you've been there for me and in ways I haven't even understood, but it's coming to the point now where if I'm going to continue to have faith, I need something. <laughs> signs and wonders I don't I just need something because it's really hard to keep your faith under such circumstances anyway I'm really upset really angry still in terrible pain yeah. And uh, there's still a ways to go. So, uh, I guess that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, thank you for your thoughts and your prayers, for your kindness. I hate asking for money because I hate money. But I can't live in this place without it. So if anybody finds they have an extra few coins they want to shove over in my direction, I'd be grateful. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Be strong. Be you. God bless us all.